An extended star topology is sometimes a better solution for organizations that require less of a single point of failure. This is going to be much more resilient than a star topology because, as you can see, we've got points of failure for different areas of the network, meaning that one point of failure cannot cause the entire network to fail at any given time. Of course, if I take out the center of my network, it does affect most devices, but the remainder of the systems would still be able to operate autonomously on their own. So it just depends on what my reasons are for needing a star topology, whether it is a local area network or whether it is a wide area network design.